guys, that my gamer back here for another online gameplay. <clears throat> this will be another draft champions. And if you all found my draft champions series with online gameplay wise, I'm sorry this is all over the place, but you know, I've recorded so many gameplays and I pick, you know, only certain ones that are actually interesting to watch. Cause as you know if you play draft champions, a lot of times the games are not really interesting and you have, you know, you play kids who you know, quit after one play or, you know, what literally hike the ball and then quit. And it makes no sense, you know, to show those gameplays. So I try to pick out, pick and weave uh, between the good ones and the bad ones. And this one is actually a really good one. Although it looks like I am destroying my opponent to start this game off with, as you can see, a touchdown right here. And, you know, a stop on defense I had on my first, on his first drive. My opponent does not give up, even though it does look like he probably should. Right here, he does throw a pick six to Harrison Smith, I believe, or some Smith, maybe Sean Smith. But he throws a pick six right there, but my opponent does not give up once again. He keeps going, guys. He keeps trucking. Sorry this is not face cam, but my online gameplays will not be face cams. Um, but he does have Peyton Manning, and he's trying his best to slowly you know go down the field and see what he can get he's pretty much um dinking dunking and just trying his best to be able to uh score which is not a bad idea right here he does end up throwing it deep and of course because of ea magic he somehow is able to come down with it gets a touchdown and this is when everything went downhill for me pretty much so Although I did take a 14-0 lead, I had, you know, the whole world on my shoulders, you could say. Everything was going my way. Everything went opposite. And this kid actually was able to come back because I wasn't able to actually, you know, continue my success. And that's something that really is annoying and mad. And it seems like you can start out a game or start out anything amazingly. But the second you start doing bad, the second, you know, your opponent does good, it is... In a way, kind of like your whole entire, you know, what's all the goodness you're doing is just going to turn to like bad and awful, you know, game gaming by yourself. So it's really annoying how that happens. Right here, we do throw a pick to Daryl Smith. And just like that, guys, my opponent is back in the game. I mean, he is in good field position with only being down by seven and... Obviously, defensively, although we started out the game being able to answer everything he threw at us, we are not able to answer now. And something very annoying, something, you know, you don't want to have to deal with in Madden, but it happens. Right here, we do stop him when he runs the ball. Loses three yards, which is pretty nice. Second and goal, he's looks like he's trying to run with Peyton. And how did he not fumble that? I will never know. Third and goal though, he does try to run with Peyton again, but this time he actually throws the ball and gets a touchdown. So just like that, it is 14 all. My opponent, so now I have to get the ball back and I got to do something guys because it is going downhill for me so far. So I'm just going to try to feed Walter Peyton and hope for the best. Right here I get a great opening and I probably might have scored a touchdown there, but I was stupid and ran right back into my lineman. I shouldn't have juked back then. But I'm going right back to Walter P because, Wal oh wait, that's not Walter P, my bad. I'm going to make sure I can run the ball as much as possible so that I can, you know. Because you, with running the ball, the only thing they can do is you can fumble the ball, which, you know, also always sucks. But other than fumbling the ball, you can't make many mistakes with running the ball. And I think that's like my strongest part of my game is being able to slowly milk the clock and slowly just ground and pound and that's what i love about you know running the ball is ground and pound but anyway other than that rant about ground and pound we are slowly moving the ball down the field with my opponent and yes we are running inside zone and just running the ball every play right here we're going to try a tight end cross my opponent decides to blitz nobody so i'm like why not to take off running then if you're not going to blitz anybody Honestly, I'm just going to take off running. There's no point not to. I believe my quarterback was Dante Culpepper. Um, right here, Walter P. does get down to the 17-yard line. And I'm going to run a full vertical. Try to make my guy go straight here. And see where this ends up. And I end up taking off running to the left. 
He's not able to catch me in time, so I do get about 10 yards. I saw my quarterback, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Um, and I end up getting in the end zone right there to make it 21 to 14. I did skip forward to the second, uh, third quarter because my opponent did score a field goal, but it, it was nothing really big. He just threw a deep bomb, kicked the field goal, done. So right here though, I'm rolling out. I playmaker Walter Payton. I end up throwing to him and look at this play guys. Now this is what you call some interesting running here. I end up running across the whole entire field, breaking a couple tackles. And then right here, we end up running it down to about, no, actually no gain it looks like. But we do hand it right back to Joseph Randall, and Randall gets nothing sadly. So we are not giving up on the running game, and that's good for us because Randall gets a touchdown here to make it 28-17. to I don't know how we're able to run a touchdown on, in that, on that play, but somehow we were able to. Right here, though, my opponent, again, like I said before, this guy did not give up. Anything I threw at him, anytime I scored, anything I did to him, he would not quit. So, definitely pops, uh, caps off to my opponent who, you know, did not want to give up a game. Right here, almost, we almost jumped that route and had a pick six. Easily would have been a pick six there, but sadly, you know, we weren't able to. Right here, we do sack Peyton Manning. So, it brings up a third and twelve. He rolls out to his right, throws it deep, and how did we drop that interception, EA? So we get the ball back, and right now all we're going to try to do is one clock, choose some clock. And this gameplay is actually about to end, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy this gameplay. It was quite an interesting game. My opponent does get the ball back, but he does a boneheaded mistake and tries to roll with Peyton, gets an incomplete pass. And then finally, my opponent will quit this game. He will take an L and say, I am done, done, done on this play. So, hopefully you enjoyed this. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.